uh, last time uh, we ended up with the concept of pressure archimedes principle density volume right and uh, yes. chapter that is chapter number 5 one is related to physical quantities two kinematics three dynamics four pressure density and uh, another unit and the fifth one is work energy power so it is also okay. uh, like the most basic concepts that you already know about but there is only a slight difference because in work then we only studied about the basic definition like it is the product of force and displacement and we only discussed that the direction of displacement will be in the same as the force but in this right. in this as level uh, we have to study some uh, like if body is moving on the slope then there are different forces acting on it so you need to resolve the forces so that type of concepts are included in this chapter okay also i was when i do past papers uh, i usually i try to solve the questions with work energy and power and i'm able to solve them yes, yes. because and all like 95% is the same only the right. problems are different there's like also like some different like sometimes then i don't understand it so i check the marking scheme and then i see like yeah. new equations like f equals to w q or like that's a friction yes that is related to friction or that things so that is slightly different concepts otherwise all the other things are the same okay okay so basically if we start from the basic concept of the work done so you already know about the formula and the definition yes okay so you already know about the definition so i am not writing that again uh, if you want so i will again write it again the definition if you isn't do. work done work done is the um amount of it's like distance multiplied by force, force energy yes so it's or you like can simply one say unit, that, uh, joule. one unit, one joule is like one unit of um one force meter meter. into like yes. one um meter yes one newton meter is equal to one joules right so basically uh when an object is moved over a distance Also, I'll send you my past papers, but I've been checking them myself with the marking scheme as well. Okay. Uh, uh, at the weekend, uh, at this weekend, I will try to make that uh, complete sketch of the past papers uh, on Excel. Then we will able to mark the past paper that we completely solved for the theory. Okay. Then uh, we will start the MCQs. Okay, actually, I have like my uh past paper book, so it's from the MS books. Okay. Right, and uh, it's only till like twenty twenty two, May June. Okay, no issue. I will uh, send you the rest of the paper, or you may also download from internet and just take the print out because there will be few yeah. papers, right? It's gonna be like I think nine papers in total once this October November is also released. So basically, this is the concept of the work done that we already know about it when we apply the force. So the displacement of the body will be in the same direction of the force. Also, work done is the same as energy, right? Yes, because energy is only the ability to do work. And basically, we require source to start the work. So that's why uh, the SI unit for energy and the SI unit for the work then will be same. So basically, if we apply any force on any box, so you know that body will displace in the same direction. And if we talk about the SI units, it's going to be joules. Yes. And it's Newton per meter. N no, it's going to be, it's going to be Newton per meter. Yes. So isn't moment also the same thing? 
But that's perpendicular distance, right? Yes, that is perpendicular. Okay, so basically, this is the basic concept of uh, the world. And let's suppose if we consider a category or we can say that if we consider the two cases in which if we talk about the maximum value or the minimum value of the work then So if we talk about the maximum value of work then so uh, if we take the angle between force and displacement, right? If we just push or if we just start to push the object on the ground floor. So we simply apply force on it in for forward direction. and displacement will be in the same direction. So in this scenario, we can say that the angle between force and displacement uh, is equals to zero, right? So if they ask about uh, like in the conceptual way, because you know, they sometimes ask about the conceptual thing, that if you want to know about the maximum value of the work done. So uh, in this situation, you will get the maximum value of the work done. So we will get the maxima or the maximum value when the angle between force and displacement will be equal to zero. Right? So this is the concept for maximum work then. If someone asks you about the maximum work then value, so you just need to uh, take the angle between force and displacement as a zero degrees, right? It means both forces will be or both quantities will be in the same direction. Both are parallel to each other, right? Yep. So this is the first concept and let's suppose if they ask about the minimum value of the work done, like zero work done. So basically if we talk about the zero work done, uh, so zero work done is a slightly uh, typical concept as compared to the maximum work done because if you consider the example, let's suppose if you are having three or four books and you just uh, pull that book or lift that book from the table and you start walking from one point to another. So basically you apply force on the book in upward direction to lift that book, okay? But you are moving in forward direction. So actually your displacement is in forward direction. You are not applying force in forward direction. You are basically applying force on the book in upward direction to hold that book uh, against the gravity, right? So basically it works like this. Uh, if we take the example of a mini crane uh, that we observe in the mini store or the supermarket to just lift the box or carton from one place to another, if we take the example of that crane so what actually happens over there uh, let's suppose if we connect a supporting block over it and we placed object on it Right? Yeah. So basically, so the real quick done is like even if it's uh the like the distance is there. Yes, but in this situation, what we are doing, 
we are just applying force opposite to the weight of the body to hold or to lift that object right right so this is the direction of the applied force so this is the applied force but uh, when this uh, car or this vehicle starts to move in forward direction so this will be the direction of displacement okay so it means okay. displacement will not be yes. like how high it is yes so basically uh, the movement of the box because when if i observe this object uh, which is placed on the crane so basically object is moving from left to right so basically displacement is from left to right okay and car is not applying force on the body from left to right basically it apply force on the block in upper direction to lift the block right so that right. in this situation in scientific way uh, normally in daily life we are doing work right that is something different concept but if we talk about the scientific terms uh, in physics so basically we are not doing any work because the definition of work is something different in physics in daily life we are using work for some different concept right so basically if they ask about any example or any situation when uh, your work done will be zero so this is the situation when your work done will be zero okay okay and uh, in all levels or igcse i used to teach the same thing to them also just to get the basic concept so in as they will already know about the concept yes that we already discussed that because there in some uh, other boards uh, there is a formula included in this situation but we are not using the formula that's why i am not writing that formula because that is not included but still the direction and the angle of forces is a part of our syllabus so that's why we are only talking about with the reference of forces right okay because in a batch class of igcsc and uh, other batches we are doing the same chapter work energy power so this is like the fourth lecture on the same topic in the same day let's uh -huh. Yes. Your drawing of the car is very good. Yes. Thank you. So uh when the angle between force and the displacement is equal to 90 degree. Right? So since we are not talking about the formula with the reference of theta because that is not included right now in our syllabus but still we can uh count the angle or the number of forces with the reference of the given angle right yeah so this is the concept for maximum or the maximum for the work done and zero work done or minimum work done and further if we talk about one example that is related to uh, the different situation because in previous level we used to solve a linear examples when object applies force on a body or like this but let's suppose if we follow some different pattern for the question and we are having question like this we are having a slope so on this specific this is angle 40 and we are having a wheel over it or a barrel over it and if we talk about the forces that are acting on the object one will be always in the downward direction that is the weight this is the direction of applied force this will be normal reaction and the weight is given by
2.5 exponent 3 newton and let's suppose if we consider this slope as frictionless so there is no force of friction only we are applying force in forward direction and the normal direction in upward direction plus the weight of the body in downward direction so basically we are applying force and this barrel is moving with constant speed and it's moving downwards or is it moving upwards upwards okay so someone is like pushing it in the direction of the force and it is moving at constant speed right okay so there's zero acceleration uh yes and you can see that force is parallel to the slope okay mm -hmm. and the distance covered by the barrel is equals to The displacement. Uh, six meter, right, up the slope. So basically, uh, you have to find out the work done. So you would find the work done. Uh, but are we when we're like going with distance? Are we gonna go with the distance of the slope, or are we gonna go with like the perpendicular distance? Because perpendicular distance is for a moment, but this is work done. So we're gonna take the slope distance, right? So six meters. Because object, uh, slope is not uh rotating about the pivot point, so that's why we are not using the concept of moment. So you can easily differentiate between the concepts. Uh, so in this situation, only the problem is the different angles given in the diagram, right? Because forces are there, three forces are given. If there is only one force, that is the value of F given over there. So we just use the formula of W equals to FD and solve the equation. But this time, uh, there are three forces. So what do you think that how to find out the unknown force? Okay, so... So we want to find out what the work done is? Uh, yes, because force is also not given. Right? But force is, if you think about it, it's like 2.5 times 10 to the power of negative, like 10 to the power of 3 newtons mm -hmm. is the weight. Uh, equal to the weight. So you are saying that the force will be equal to the weight. No, it's not going to be equal. It's going to be more if you need it, if the resultant force is going to be... Uh, Yes. Forward. Any idea how to uh, solve for the resultant force? How Are you going to use, look, you know that the distance is six meters? Yes. Right? And you know that the theta is 40 degrees. Yes. So are you going to use sine cos theta or something? We are going to use sine theta cos theta. But before that, uh, we need to complete this diagram in the sense, uh, let's suppose, like making a triangle. Uh, yes. So basically, in the opposite direction of the normal, we have to draw one more line. Okay, because I did like I did a question like this like an hour ago. Because when a normal reaction uh, is applied by the slope, so definitely there will be a component of weight x in downward direction also. Yeah. And we are getting right angle triangle just a. Uh, bottom of the barrel and we can just easily solve the equation with the help of the vertical component and the horizontal component. Okay. Okay. So this is the scenario that we need to use to find out the value. Okay. Okay. And angle is 40, right? So this angle will also be 40. So it means that to find out the value of F, uh, we need to use cos theta or sine theta. Okay, for this, we know that the perpendicular is going to be... Um, are we going to use... Hmm? Uh, if you Wait, just, me... uh, just take okay. the look of the direction of the force so force is acting in forward direction is straight parallel to the slope and you can see w sine theta is also parallel to the slope right yeah 
So you it's use w we're sign. gonna use that. Yes. So and when we figure out what the force is, then we're gonna subtract it to find or like add them to see what the force uh being so used is. Friction, a slope is frictionless, so we don't need to add the value of friction. So simply we just, if you want to find out the resultant force, so resultant force will be equal to like the forward force adding into the negative opposite force acting on the body. So since barrel is not moving upward and downward, so it is completely uh, balanced in upward and downward sense, but it is moving in forward direction. So definitely resultant force will only act in forward direction. So that's why we take the reference of force like F is equals to W sine theta. And F will be equals to W sine 40. Okay. Okay. W is going to be uh, 6 meters, high. right? No, no. W is the weight actually, right? Because. Oh, okay. So it's going to be 2.5 times 10 to the power of 3. Always act in downward direction. But due to the slope, the components of the weight divided into angle. And for that angle, we take sine 40. And the final force. will be equals to like this. And you will get the final answer. Right? So this is the value of the force acting on a body. And then you are able to find out the value of the work then. That is very simple right now. So this will be your final answer. Okay. Okay. So the, this type of questions might be include uh, because there is a concept of angle in the question. Otherwise, it is also very uh, simple concept because we are already solving the concept of forces in the dynamic section. So it is also not very difficult. Just after practicing some question, you will get the concept. So yeah, uh, I did some questions. Yes. So I'll send it to you later. So uh, basically just focus on the theory because when you are doing the theory, so that will be in your practice and you will also observe that in how much time you are solving the question and you are able to solve a complete theory paper in the given time because after the next chapter, you just end up with your all topics. Only the past paper questions practice are required. So after doing some papers, then we will also check that are you able to solve all the theory question like random paper uh, in the given time okay okay inshallah so then we will start the concept of mcqs first we just try to uh grip the theoretical paper then we will start practicing the mcqs because that requires additional time to yes. discuss then you practice by yourself to solve the mcqs because some questions are typical related to specifically this section of uh, dynamics and kinematics. Okay. Okay. So in this chapter, further, if we move forward, so there is a concept of principle of conservation of energy. You already know about it. Energy cannot be created or destroyed. It can only change from one form to another, right? Do we have like as detailed as it was in uh, O levels, like when we had to learn the how they make the energy in water. Uh, basically, that is uh, not compulsory right now because you already studied about different mechanism over there. Just you need to know about is that let's suppose if there is something or some mechanism given over there. So you have to identify the type of forces. Just like if you remember the concept of that diagram flow for nuclear reactor in IGCSE. So we discussed that yeah. on the nuclear reaction, we are generating a, a thermal energy from that 
that will make the steam and then the steam will help the turbine to move so in each process you need to identify the type of uh, energy which we observe right so that is the important part uh, that you need to know that what type of energy actually uh, works over there in the situation which is given in the paper otherwise uh, there is no specific process given over there like any plant or any mechanism related to specific topic okay 